Okay. Um, this is um, this, uh, August 8th, 2022, meeting of the Historic Structures Advisory Board. Um, we're going to call the meeting to order at 101. I'll read the audio announcement <laughs> right now. Um, this is Nikki Rowland, Chair of HSAB. Permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipate on the agenda. Our president can hear me. Lucy? Yes. And Jason? Yeah, yes. sorry, I was moved. <laughs> uh, thank you. No staff and no anticipated speakers. Um, this open meeting of HSAP is being conducted remotely pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021 for this meeting. HSAP is convened by video conference via Zoom app is posted on the town's website identifying how the public may join. Note this meeting is being recorded and each vote taken will be by roll call. Excuse me, Angus is just coming in and so is Diane. Perfect. Okay. Greetings. Hey, Angus. So I'm going to confirm that you're actually present, Angus. <laughs> I'm confirming that. Thank you. Okay. And all right. So it's uh, after one. Angus, we already opened the meeting and read um, the script. So I'm going to start right in with 39 Pleasant Street. <clears throat> Share my screen. Um, and the application is right here. Okay, this is basically replacing what apparently is called a type one fence, which you don't see too much of. I guess that's, is that a type one fence? I'm not even familiar with this. Um, with a type two fence. Type two, we're very familiar with it's the capped picket fence. And it says no gate with no gate. Do we care about the gate? Yes, I, yeah, I do, because they've got a pathway yeah. going front steps down, and one of the photographs of the neighbors shows that they have a, not a gate, but open space break in their fence for the pathway. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like your other neighbor, I mean, it's just, you don't you have a path. Yeah, if there's a if there's a brick walkway, there should be a gate, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about that house, the yellow house, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's bizarre. Yeah. That bizarre. I think that this application's I mean, they got a good fence. Yeah, I think we're we're good with a fence type, but we would prefer to see a gate or an opening at the walkway. Yeah, they can't just yeah. have it. Walkway. Is there a hardscaping plan that diverts the walk or anything? Not on the application. That's what I was wondering. There's not, there's not much here, of course. Here's the site plan. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. And well, the site plan, the site plan doesn't even show the walkway. No. So with the information that we have, I think what we're going to state is prefer to see gate or opening at the brick walkway. Yeah. Good. Yes. All right. Next or remove the or remove the walkway. Well, I think it's good to have a walkway to lead into the front door. I well, I, so do I. Yeah. So let's leave it at that. Okay. This is a little shed on two North Cliff Way, kind of tucked. I think it's just sort of where that. Um, Century house was torn down that sort of area. Um, I think this is the remnants of that, maybe. I, I don't know. Anyway, the, the, the shed is right here, it's off of kind of North Star, it's back in there. I'm not sure how visible it is, but it's, it's showing it right on North Star, which probably is a public way. I was, you know, this is a small thing, but I, um. What I said was the application should be completed with all the details because first of all, there's no information here except for the size. So there's no um, color, trim size, root pitch, not much. So they need to fill that out better. And then I basically said the windows should be identified by manufacturer and size. And the 48 inch wide door should be a batten door, not paneled. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting trim around the door that it narrows at the bottom, according to that. <laughs> it's so weird, yeah. <laughs> it's not really a yeah, accurate drawing. No. And even if it was, I, I wouldn't want to see a big yeah. wide panel door there. Okay, with that. But wide door is very unusual as well. Well, I picture it's a storage shed, and we have lots of storage sheds, right? With wide sure. doors to get. Usually, it's stuff. two two foot doors or two three foot doors, or you know. Right. Would you prefer to see two twos or instead of one four? If it's four feet wide, I would say two batten doors would probably be better. But okay, that's fine. But I think that we're seeing the first iteration of a, an application that needs to come back complete. Yeah. But you know, knowing the way things might go, they'll probably just say, okay, the, as long as you provide the right information. But I'm gonna say, um, to also prefer two two foot doors instead of one four. And what house does this belong to? I mean, are there photographs of what this is part of? I don't know. No. I'm not sure. I mean, to north. Unless you can do streetscape, Vicki. I don't think I can get in there on street on street view. And you know, it's the shed. It's kind of tucked back way. I think we just care. I don't really care who it belongs to. They're all they all have white trim. It's just, I mean, the statement of a six over one is, is a little bit of a statement. If it were six over six, it would be, you know, it would go with probably anything, but usually that's like something that's relating to another structure. The window. Okay. I I could, well, I now, now I see why you care. Um, yeah. I, uh, it's all by itself. Oh, wait. Is lot 17 part of it the other lot now? Part, I don't, you know, it's Based. just totally unclear unless the map geo shows, you know, the GIS shows. Um, I'm assuming it is, but I mean, I shouldn't assume, but because of the outlining. Yeah, it's highlighted. Oh, there you go. Included. Of course. So that's exactly it. I didn't even notice that. They just sheared off part of the lot from yeah. whatever 15 and 16 once created. So we don't really know what that house looks like. Um, are we okay with the six over ones as long as the house has six over ones? Yeah. All right. I'll just throw that in. If you guys guess it. That'll cover it. Yeah, the main thing is knowing what the trim color is. Yeah, which they don't say, but pretty likely white. Okay. Next one is 7A, Sherburn Turnpike. You know, this is one that's come back for revisions. You can see revision clouds. I'm pretty sure that we have yet not yet seen this application because I don't recognize it. Nevertheless, here it is, and they're showing previous submission down here and current submission above they are basically the only thing they're really doing is they dropped the eve line a little bit and they hold you know a little bit of rearranging of the dormers on the main mass and the door i have a number of issues with this and i'll i'll read them off and then you guys can chime in um it's a seven a Sherburn Turnpike. There is only one house on Sherburn Turnpike with a garage on the street side, and this is actually accessed off Sherburn Way. Placing an attached garage up close to the street with the entire front of the property becoming a parking lot is too suburban and not appropriate. The garage should be set behind the house as is traditionally done, allowing for a full front yard. The front of the main mass lacks any logical order. The second floor does not relate to the first floor. Uh, the depth of the main box, and I'm gonna to go to the next elevation right here. From here, the front face to the rear face, with a, it's a symmetrical gable. The depth of the main box okay. is, 30, is 30 feet, creating a tall boxy building with a lot of roof facing the street. 
this depth should be reduced and the massing be broken up more to minimize the length of the main roof line, reducing the amount of roof. Um, there are meeting rail issues all around. Lowering the plate would correct this. The garage mass is much too tall for an additive mass facing the street. It dominates the front view and feels very out of place. This should be a one-story addition. The triple mullion on the west right here should change to two singles and the upper west windows crowd the rakes and should be pulled more to, to the center. Six light French doors, which you'll see down here. Six light French doors are unusual, change them to 12 or 15 light and HC would like to see revisions. So um, what else? Well, we don't have the application, so we don't know the details. We don't have the application either, so that's... Yeah, we don't even have this. Do we have a site plan or do we have any... We do have a site Wait, plan. There, right there's... Here. I also, I don't, I, I might have missed it. The, the chimney on that small piece with the doors on, that's just doesn't yeah. strike me as being appropriate either. Yeah, the chimney's in an awkward spot. Yeah, I mean, so that it's got a balcony yeah. around it, and the doors on either side, and the, it's just not typical. It's not. Yep. It's quite big. It is. But I agree with what else, what, what you've said. Okay. Um, Angus? So we don't have the comments from the previous meeting. No, we do actually. I finally found them. They're they're squeezed in the on the drawing. Oh. Uh, so I'm drawing. The other thing about that chimney is it's it should either be in or be out. It's it can't make yeah. up its mind. It's both. Yeah. So there were some there was some discussion about um, so. Uh, Holly says the proposal is boxy, out of the massing should be lower and more subordinate, the French doors are not appropriate. Um, Carrie, the massing suggests typical five bay, but it reads differently. Uh, don't work for five bay. Um, we, we didn't like the dormers on the front, the main mass is a little tall. Um, Abby said the south elevation right addition overwhelms the front facade, the front door should be centered. Um, Proposed driveway, driveway will span the entire front facade. Steve said the agrees with what's been said about the right massing, but the respective drawings indicate the spacing is mitigated. Front elevation, the meeting rails should align with the eaves so that um, lack of second floor symmetry should be translated first floor. Um, bring addition down would be good. And Diane here agrees with what's been said, front of the front door or what's about it should be moved to the line. Um, the right addition looks very flat with per three windows on the first floor and a smaller two window dormer. Ray, the same eave wraps around the entire building that you should change on the garage wing, which basically means lowering it and the eave should be dropped to align with the garage door meeting rails. Garage is too tall. So kind of, you know, I'm, I'm reiterating a lot of what they already said, but none of that was really corrected fully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, um, the ease were concerning me. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to have this facing the street is <clears throat> the first thing you see. It's just not going to work. No. No, it needs to be on the side or the back but not mm -hmm. in front of. Yeah. Um, not sure how much the back is going to be visible, but Sherburn Way goes behind Sherburn Turnpike, and you probably will see the back of this. And yeah, that chimney's awkward at best. Yeah. Ideally, it would just go in another foot mm -hmm. and be inside. Mm -hmm. 
but six inches out or four inches out or whatever it is isn't right yeah. <clears throat> anything else i think you got it all all right um Oh yeah. yeah. Um, okay. <clears throat> so next one is seven Sherburn. That's the one next door. They apparently must have subdivided this property and sold the lot that we just looked at. Um, so this um, this was originally proposed as as. Where's the view I'm looking for? Here we go. Proposed south. That was the earlier. No, wait a minute. I'm so sorry, I'm trying to find the main view. Here we go. Okay, um, here, here's existing. So here's the main mass that they're not really doing a lot to, and they're keeping this sort of form, the connector. The um, addition before was a garage. You must be in some living quarters here too, but it was a one story shallow pitched roof. Last submission, they came in for um, a steeper pitch, which related to the main house, but everybody thought it was too tall. So they're, means of lowering it was to go back to this shallow pitch, um, which you'll see right here. So they've essentially created this other attachment with a with a 10 pitch. And I'm not sure what the main pitch is, but it's got to be like a 15 or at least. So I didn't really think that was the, I, I thought this was a pretty appropriate, but it was too tall and should just have been lowered. This mm -hmm. didn't bother me, at least okay. in the massing. Mm -hmm. So I, my comments are the existing one-story addition can get away with a shallower pitch roof because it is discrete and feels like a different structure. The proposed two-story addition is much more visible and should relate to the existing roof pitches. The previous proposal would have worked fine if the plate was a few feet lower, creating a true story and a half with recessed dormers. The four gang French doors and the square windows need rethinking. The doors should be 15 light per existing. And we'd like to see revisions. So I think just, we just lower the, you know, yeah. plate. That would do it for me. What is the age of the house? Um, is it old or is it? It's an old house. It's I would like guess old. 20s maybe. Yeah, 1920s at least, or maybe even earlier. They don't say. Mm -hmm. Is there? Is there? Can you go down to the photo? That's like um, okay. maybe did Holly? Yeah, circa 1920 colonial revival. So yeah, right now I'm missing. Um, Jason, what do you think? I was just asking to see photos of the house because I just don't. I wasn't on the phone with you so this is okay. facing Sherburne Turnpike, I believe, south, yeah. And <clears throat> to the east. And yeah, I agree with you. I, I think the other proposal was more um, appropriate and successful on this one. Anybody else? Yeah, I mean, there's a theme with the old part of the oldest part of this house are steep roof lines uh, and no shed dormers. And what this addition is, is a shallow pitch, unlike the rest of the old house and, and a whole bunch of shed dormer. Mm -hmm. Really relates to the house. And so I think they were on a better track, as you say before, um, and uh, just lower it. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do that before. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I think that, I mean, 
They've got the large two over two windows. Hello. Um, and you know, it's looked like the previous submission. They just cropped off the top and then plunked down something else. I, I agree that the the previous one was more in keeping with the style. Yeah, it doesn't relate to the old building at all. Um, so I think I think we're all agreeing on that. Um, anything more? Okay. The next is a teen Sherbert Turnpike. This is around the corner on that spur heading towards Cliff Road. Um, so we're we're looking at two buildings here. One of them is the garage, which is this right here. And it's this thing way in the back. Here's Sherburn Turnpike. She's unfortunately rotated the site plan. So it's not, here's the, the locust shows north to south. She's rotated this so you can see north is, is rotated. Um, so the garage is, is in the back of the property. Um, and I honestly didn't have any issues with this garage um, for where it's located and the design seemed okay. Maybe a little underfenestrated here. I'm not sure how much of this you're gonna see because of all the other buildings around it. Um, any concerns here? We're just okay. discussing the garage, right? Just no. the garage. There's the okay. next one. There's a guest house coming next. I'm not sure how visible it'll be, but in that, um, I guess, south elevation, mm -hmm. it feels um, the those windows are cute, um, but I it would be great if the roof lines um, made it look like <laughs> that, you know, it was those windows were determined by the roof lines, but they, they're they they're kind of affected, I think. Um, if they were squeezed with the, the roof between the sill and the mm -hmm. soffit at the head, uh, I get it, but, um, but it, it seems awkward. So I would either fill the space or, or reduce the wall area. I agree, I guess those windows float in that dormer wall for no reason, they should be more, they should fill the space better. I mean, I'm seeing long windows on the opposite eave. So, yeah, you know, why not? Yeah, good one. In general, it feels top heavy. And I guess that's just because, you know, that's the living space and the garage is down below. But but when you look at the, the back and the, the left, um, you know, the north and the east, it feels like there's a lot going on up top and nothing going on down below. Yeah, certainly with fenestration here. Yeah. Yeah. North. Is that right? North? How come the garage door is on this side? Yeah, it should be south, actually. Yeah. Yeah, this should be north. Yep. Yeah. Why did they keep doing that? What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay with this one? Yep. All right. <clears throat> Next is the guest house. And I had, I guess, looking at this one now, similar concerns to your comment, Angus, about this elevation. Um, yeah, like there, it makes more sense, right? It's a, it's a, it's squeezed in here a little better, but still, I mean, generally, I like to see windows tucked up to an eave line on a dormer. You and me both. Yeah. Kind of like they're, I mean, they're doing it with the dormer. Yeah. Right. I mean, they, um, the flanking single windows that, that go right up to the soffit. Yeah. Similar issue with those windows. Okay. Are those uh, folding doors on that side. These Looks look like, like they're, they're sliders. They're drawn as sliders. 
-hmm. And so you know, here's the location. Here's the site plan. It faces in, right? It faces it faces the street, but it's facing the house. house. Okay. Um, again, visibility will be marginal. There's a lot of screening on the sides. I'm not sure what you'll see this. Um, I, you know, I'll, I'll read you my comments on this. Um, and it's, it's, it's mostly to do with its west elevation. Um, attached pergolas are appropriate when used in isolated small areas, but a nearly full length pergola across the entire front is too much. A porch roof would be more appropriate. French doors should not try to look like double hung windows. There are typically eight to 15 evenly divided lights with no open glass spaces. So I didn't really care about the number of doors here considering the location and visibility, but I just don't like when people are, you no, know, it looks bizarre. constantly but, trying to mimic a window, it's, it's a door. So, yeah, that's why I got confused at first when I first saw it, I was like, are those windows? But yeah, yeah. the pergola is bizarre. I, I don't think pergolas in front of windows like that are appropriate. Yeah, it'd be one thing. It was just in front of the four doors, but yeah, but I just, agree. It's just guys. too much. Um, so wait, what is it on the north then? Is that windows on that little bump, or is that another set of? These windows? are all the same type of door. Yeah, that they all need. <clears throat> yeah, to go. Away. Even the single door is is trying to mimic a double hung window. Same here. This is this is all glass. It's just divided like oh, a little. Oh, yeah, no. That's, oh, see, yeah, that's misleading. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not appropriate. None of the doors. Lucy, Angus, anything else on this? Same concerns. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, my only other thing was the covered patio. Um, oh, over here? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to that, but it's... That's normally not what I like to see either, but I didn't, I guess I didn't think too much about it in, in this location. I mean, normally that should be a, in my opinion, a shed or a hip right here. I yep. Could, you want me to comment on that? Might as well. Please. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <clears throat> a little bit better. Okay, the next is Six New Street Edition. Um, what's this? Oh yeah. So this is actually what's existing on the north elevation. Um, so scary. It, I know it's too bad. 1840. I don't think they did that back then. Not that. Not the dormer. Um, so I actually went and looked at this from Back Street today because I was concerned about the view. I mean, I'm concerned about an 1840 house losing, you know, all that infrastructure in the roof. Mm -hmm. And the HDC is really the only regulatory board that is going to, you know, be able to, to save that history. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But also, I wanted to know how visible is it? And I mean, that's just horrible. That never should have happened to begin with, but, mm -hmm. but to think that that would happen on the back and I think even wider is what's proposed. It's edge to edge, literally. It's just, it's horrible and it's visible. I, I can send you the photographs. Oh, you, so it is visible from Backstreet? It is. Okay. I um, totally agree with, with that, Angus. Um, if I can find this, where is it? Here we go. So the back elevation is right um, here. Now, roof pitch notwithstanding, if they pull this in the normal amount, a couple feet, a few feet, technically, um, now that I know it's visible from back street, I might look at this a little differently. Um, <clears throat> but I didn't mind a, a, a large shed dormer on the back considering what's already done on the front, as long as it was pulled in and it's strong flush, as we can see. Again, I thought that was less visible, but um, I think it's worth commenting, this is visible from Backstreet. 
I mean, it just doesn't meet any of the guidelines about, um, you know, leaving a significant portion of the main roof being set back, being stepped down from the ridge. Uh, it's just, it couldn't be more wrong. Yeah. And two wrongs don't make a right. No. no, it just wasn't time and a half for the first round. It's not, it's not even like a, it's not even a dormer by that point. It's well, no, I mean, it's, yeah, but it's, it's, it's really it's exactly it's, right. It's, it's not a dormer. It's, it's so some examples. Such and such. Mickey, I just forwarded photos that I took this morning. If you want to, I don't know if you can access that. Uh, let me see. Um, you know, derived. I would like to see those. Um, let's come back to that. <clears throat> the next one, we'll come back to Six New Street. The next one is Two Ash. This is a pretty new building. And I either designed this building or did some work on it. And I know I did some work on it later on for a subsequent owner. Um, I might have designed this building. Anyway, there it's it's all about these decks and railings. Although Lucy found that they had put in, we're not even seeing the here we go. Well, this is existing. What did you show, Lucy? There's a shower back here on the west side. Yes. That they, they, um, let me uh, pull up that picture. Let's see. It. I don't think that's it. So that's the other one. Um, Try again. Okay, sure. This should do it. <clears throat> okay, you see that? Mm -hmm. So this is not shown. This is definitely something that they've built since this. Um, Apparently, this work was approved. I kind of remember this coming up a little while ago. The shower was? Well, the this the drawings that you're looking at, oh, you don't see them, but the, the on the application. So I'm going to close out this picture showing the shower, which you can see right here. And I'll pull up the application. Um, so here's that west elevation, and the shower comes up fairly high, it's like right about to the level of the, halfway through this window. And it seems to incorporate the full window right to the edge. So that was, that's there, it's not approved, it's a little tall. I mean, if they were applying for it now, I'd probably say it's too tall, um, but, but it's there. So we can only comment on probably a unauthorized build. Um, Other than that, the proposal is for these um, deck and railing changes. Right now, the, um, the most visible view, which is this, aside from the front, which really isn't changing much, is this view, which you see showing the deck with the st stairs coming down toward the street. It looks like they're gonna reverse that and bring the steps down toward the back and at the same time create, um, I don't know, railing around the open area below. That almost seemed like a positive to move the stairs toward the back. Well, is there an access back there now? Access to what? Oh, never mind. I see it. I see it. The, the, the basement access. So that, yeah, that's, that, that's that. OK. They're moving doors and windows too, which are <clears throat> okay. pretty, pretty minor, but they're moving around. And this is a new building, so there's not like any historic fabric here. 
Um, anybody have any concerns with this one? No. No. Okay. So I'll, I'll just mention the as built shower. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. <coughs> um, right. So Angus, could you send me that? Still haven't gotten it. Oh, wait, let me check a different email. Here we go. New Street. Is Comcast the best one for you, or is there another one? No, Comcast is fine. Okay. Probably better for you, actually. All right. Let's see if I can pull up all these. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to share a different screen. Okay. Do you see that? Yeah. So sure. that's that's the. The roof in the background with the chimney in the middle, but okay. the next the next photo shows it as if you're really looking at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that'll be very visible. And there it is again. Yeah, that's a little bit further down the street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. And then it's during the nice. summer when there's the foliage and all that stuff. Yeah, it's clearly pretty visible. Um, all right. Yeah, so, <clears throat> all right. So, let's see what we want to say on this one. Um, I, what I had said was photos of existing would be very helpful. The sides of the proposed rear door need to be set in a couple of feet. If they are built flush to the sides as proposed, this would be visible from New Street, um, which you'd, of course you'd see the side of that from here. Um, now we know that it's also visible from um, Back Street. And, and I'm just gonna say this should follow the normal guidelines for dormers set back a couple of feet and off the ridge um, because it's visible. Right, and I think the guidelines are a minimum of three feet on the sides, and mm -hmm. the two feet on the front. One foot on the front, and the you know setting setting down should probably be a foot from the ridge. Yep. But again, it's eighteen forty, and what the what? Okay. Anything else on this? Nope. All right, so back to what's next. Um, so after two ash lane is two ash lane fence. And that is, I think this one. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure there was a cyclone to show this. Okay, here we go. And let's see the application. I think it's just a lot of type two fencing with a gate. Um, type two painted white, 36 inch high, 44 feet total. They're proposing an arched top arbor, but there's there are others on Ash Lane. Um, that it's a, I don't know, this didn't bother me. Um, I don't know if anybody else cares about that, as opposed to something simpler. There's other examples around, and it's a formal, it's a more formal setting than we've we've commented on others on the edge of town that were too formal with an arch top, but this seems like it's okay. Uh, the two examples that you're showing, are they, um, they're the, the same at different addresses? Well, they're slightly different. Yeah, the arch top certainly is the same. One shows a lattice side and the other shows a ladder, ladder type side, I think. Right. Um, 
and don't know what that is. Yeah, I think you're right. It's 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 closer in. Things are a little bit more <clears throat> formal, and it's not right on the street. It's set back. Yeah. No, I don't have an answer. Anybody else concerns? No. Yeah. Next, thirty Union Street. So, this is an interesting location. Um, it's 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 for thirty Union Street. Is here's Union, and here's the town pier parking lot. So you access this garage, which is going right in here from the town pier parking lot off that corner. So it's actually kind of visible, I think, looking through this area. Sure. So with that in mind, um, you know, I really, um, where is it? Here it is. I didn't mind this. To me, this is sort of not an unusual of a sort of a later period built garage. You know, I know it probably doesn't relate to an 18 something house but as well in the backyard and you know i think we've seen a lot of these hip roof outbuildings that are pretty low profile um i agree i i think that you know it's not unusual for this 20s or 30s looking structure to be um you know when they later traded in the buggy and got the car <laughs> you right. know the, they built this garage you know at a later period and and i i think that um that it keeps the eve low and it's um it's tastefully designed and um i think would work in that area well sure. i kind of like to see it with dark green trim Ooh, what is the house though is it <clears throat> well it's so far from the house so it is far from the house Yeah, what does it relate to? I mean, it's really in practically somebody else's backyard. Mm -hmm. Is that outdoor shower on the side? Okay, the outdoor shower was the one thing that I did want to comment on. Right, yeah, because it seems excessively wide, long. Well, the only thing that bothered me about this, and then that that's fine if you want to comment on that, I'll I'll add it in. But it's shown with horizontal red cedar boards, and I just was going to say that yeah. they, they should be vertical. Yep. Yeah. Thanks for the catch with that. And the length of it should be going with the building rather than out from it. Okay, you're right. Yeah, it looks like an addition. I got confused. <clears throat> Basically rotate it. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So the other thought concern I had, which is, eh, I don't know, is it's identifying this area right here between the corner board and the garage door is white pine board natural to weather i mean why wouldn't you just shingle that probably the same right here too well is the idea to have the whole thing white that's what it looks like well it's natural to weather that's what he says so it's oh you know the doors are painted white hmm. the trim is painted. it's gonna read all white though yep yeah it'll be I mean, this is white. This will be. This will fade to gray. White pine board. Um, yeah, that's a that's weird. I I would. Um, I'd agree. I'd have that be sh shingled. Mm -hmm. And I'm with Lacey. I'd love to see this be dark green. Well, let's throw that in there. Yeah. I think that yeah, the way it's tucked back there behind the parking area, and the style of the building. And just surrounded by green. Doors, yeah. I mean, you got five doors on the on one wall. What about the color of the doors? Normally, we don't really like seeing white garage doors. Not white. It, they should so be white. If they wanted to keep the white trim and not go with the dark green or natural, I would say that the the door should be a dark green. I think that'd be really great with the white. Um, or gray if they don't really want the color. The doors, the yeah, the doors are for white. Mm -hmm. Or the whole building are the doors, garage yeah. doors and trim gray. I wouldn't mind that either. Yeah. 
But I think you're right, Angus, that this, and Lucy, I think you brought this up too, is that uh, building this age and period probably wouldn't have been, I mean, could have easily been a dark muted color, put it that way. Could have yeah, been it's, an out, it's an outbuilding. It's an outbuilding. And I think it wouldn't be unusual to see them in a, in a more muted color. Um, all right, I'll mention that. Anything else? Um, so we talked about uh, having the vertical board for the shower, but what's that? What's that upper? What's that last line at the top? This is a dimension line. Is that, is that what you're no, no, I mean, at the top of the shower. Um, <laughs> you got me. Looks like a horizontal I, board. A, a cap is good, but that's. Yeah. I think that's sort of going with the modern theme or whatever of the, yeah. something. It's. Make it more traditional. Yeah, I think they're trying to make this a. Looks like a, a modern version of a traditional old yep. carriage house. They're putting a modern twist on it, which we don't want. Yeah. Which is for the location. Yeah, not right. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. <coughs> 51 fair. Look at the application here. Um, are they changing the colors at all? The colors change. The, oh, sis, they already approved this as kind of a silver and white, I think. Light gray and white. Um, so the proposed changes I didn't think were so bad. I, in fact, I think thought that, you know, in terms of the detailing for the changes, they were done, done nicely. Um, the stormer is brand new before there's nothing there, but it's nicely detailed and doesn't overwhelm anything. I don't think that's a problem. Um, in this shed, similarly, where's the print of this? Yeah, there's nothing there. I didn't, I didn't really have any problems with this one. Um, they put some thought into it and, you know, I think it shows. The doors changed. Couldn't really tell what these doors used to look like. It's hard to tell what all these lines mean. Uh, not sure I've seen mutton bars shaped like that, but maybe that's what they were. Yeah, it shows in one of the photographs. Oh, I didn't look at those. <clears throat> it reminds me a little bit of the summer house windows where it's right just there, kind of, oh, you're you right. Know, a pattern. Yeah. What do you think? Do we want to put those back? Well, if they want to go to the trouble, go ahead. Well, they don't have to remove them. I think they're just literally changing the, the doors. You know, it's the same style and shape and casings. They're just literally just swapping out panels from what I can tell. If they're original, I think yeah. they should stay. Yeah, let's, let's they're very, I mean, because they're so unusual. Yeah. I, mean, I don't remember how much was done to this house. That was the... Um, What's her name that did it, right? Yeah, I'm drawing a blank of the names. Valerie Norton. Yeah. So let's say we um, ask for the old French doors to remain, at least in that style. I agree that the um, the detailing is is well done and the proportions are good, but the 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 dominant feature in this is this lower sub gable that that goes you know through the house and has the bay window on the front and on the back that the the chimney and um i feel like this dormer is as well designed as it is detracts from that it's it's actually higher you know the windows are higher it feels mm -hmm. weird for there to be a something that is is higher and more prominent than the the central detail. So that's my 
my concern with it. Yeah, I kind of see what you're saying. I guess it doesn't, it didn't really, I don't know. I guess maybe I was just focusing on the, just that spot and not looking at the big picture. It still doesn't seem to bother me a lot. Does anybody else, is anybody else concerned about that? I don't know, but just, it is fully, this, the whole back of it, this, the whole back of the house is fully Is visible. the back pretty visible? Oh yeah. You can, the only part of that, I mean, the whole house is visible. I can't oh, remember yeah, what that's right. It's on a corner lot. Yeah. Yeah. I almost think that a dormer like that would work better on the main mass and, and could be above, but, but, yeah. you know, off to the side, it just, it feels like the energy is getting. What if it was single? Pulled away. What if it was a single one? I'm thinking of the house on um, Main Street that I think has a single funky, um, dormer on the piece uh what's her name the piano teacher <sighs> do you know which house i'm talking about the one right at the monument no not it's further it's further it's further up it's um quarter mile hill is like behind it oh, yeah, I don't know oh i know the it's, house it's, yeah but i, I can't yeah. remember it's got it's got a single dormer on it on the 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 extension. It faces the street, but it's one, and it's got this wonderful. Um, it's actually a triangular at the top. It had, but I'm just wondering if one it would be more appropriate than double. I understand what Angus is saying. It's kind of heavy on that. It detracts from. Well, it's a lower roof line, yet higher windows. It just, yeah. Yeah, there's it's weird. something about it that seems out of bounds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, I think what I'll say is something to the effect that it tends to dominate or over. Um, it detracts. The tracks from the main simple form. I'm not sure. Contents too. I mean, it would be one thing if this were, you know, on a regular block and and this weren't even visible. You know, the details are in keeping and all that's good. But but this is you really see this whole thing, and there's a there is a a real theme, you know, with this cross gable that uh, that comes out with the bay on the front and the the chimneys on the back, or the fireplace and the trench doors. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice building. It really is. Um, okay. Something to the effect that it detracts from the main simplicity. Well, there's a hierarchy that is really clear with the building as it is, but this this detracts from that. Yeah, okay. We'll try to get that language in there. And I will comment about these doors. These are gonna be visible too, I assume. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe to some degree he's, he's saying we're putting in new four light doors here. These should match, but I don't know. Maybe they don't have to. The new doors need to match the old doors. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, okay. Anything else on this? No. Nope. So next we have 146 Main Street. Did 15 Washington not show up? Um, no, it did. I skipped it. That's what this is, actually, 15 Washington. Oh, OK. <laughs> Got it. Um, so I th this has been approved. Um, I think this middle column is, the, yeah, the approved column. So what they're really asking 
is um, to remove the windows that they got approval for. So it really goes back to the original existing windowless wall. And some other changes to the back, which you know may be visible looking across the yard at Union Street, um, which is right. Well, it probably wouldn't illustrate it out of the site plan. Yeah. Um, the locust. So you look, you know, you know, they're putting in this new driveway right here. And this is a pretty open yard. I'm not sure how you how well you can look through to the back of where this is going right in this little dog leg here. Oh, this is where they were proposing the three and this the see-through skylight. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. the cafe or the coffee shop. So um, they're kind of just backtracking on those windows and um, some other changes to this back wall for what they had approved. I guess they're adding another set of French doors and a, and a sort of a stone retaining wall. Anybody really care about this at all? Mm -hmm. I think French doors might be more appropriate than a picture window. True. Um, no, and I mean, if it's if it doesn't have windows on that west gable mm -hmm. now, you know, how can we ask for it? Yeah. I know what this thing is. What is that? Is that an air conditioner? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Elevated condensers. Oh God. <laughs> no. The fine print. Well, that's a flood zone down there. It is. But they need to screen them. Yeah. yeah. Why can't this be um behind the 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 building next to them, you know? Um, or is that kind of... Do you know what I'm saying? Not yet. Let Holding to the time. east of them. Where is that? Where is that? Here they are over here. This corner. Yikes. Now next to this. Where are we? Oops, let me get that over. Okay, it's that corner, that building right on the curve. I don't know if you're gonna see this. They're in mine. I I think you can see back there. Let me go to the um Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that this was the face that was facing Union Street. Well, what is it? 15 Washington? Yes. I think there's a hedge, but. Yeah, it's right there between the, the yeah. So there's a fence there. <clears throat> so it's. This is this fence looks like it belongs to this property. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure this is going to be really visible at all, as long as that fence remains in place. Well, it, would it be behind the fence? Yeah, because it's tucked into this corner behind this mask right there. Let's see if I can find that again. And this is not seen from Union. Here it is. And there's a no, I can't believe you'll see this from Union Street. Yeah. Um, and here's Washington up here. So you're looking through this way. This may be that fence theory that you see in the picture. I think it's pretty well screened and back in this really squeezy spot. I'm not sure you're going to see it. Um, but but I'll, maybe we'll just note if visible screen the condensers. Anything else in this one? Any concerns? Yep. Okay. Now we're down to 146 main. This is the little building setback. It's set back from the street. This has just got to be a, assuming this is a well, there's no date on the application, of course. Um but it just looks like an infill later, done much later than anything around it. I don't really have that good site plan. No. 
Just looking for a site plan. Not finding one. Um, so all right, I'll go up to the two. Uh, it's set back, but it's very because it's set back and so different. It's very obvious this house. It's pretty visible, but it but it yeah. definitely has a secondary feel to it because it's so far yeah. back. Um, so here we go. So I don't know, my, so what they're proposing to do here was, um, put on, they're trying to sort of gussy up the front and that's, that's okay to a point, but um, yeah. they're proposing these symmetrical side chimneys. These are fake chimneys because there's not showing any masonry on the interior. They're adding window boxes, which we don't normally comment on. Um, and they're showing shutters and they're clabbering the front they're changing the front door. Um, not even sure what the what does this that say? You know, it looks like planter boxes. They look like planter boxes. You know, the the way the house is now, to interrupt you, it sort of fades away, which is what it should do. This is like I mean it's trying to draw attention to it. It's too much. It's not that's not what this house is. Plus those shutters don't work on the first floor windows. No, they don't. No, they're not appropriate. No, they're yeah. And I, I just don't think it should be white. I don't think it should have clapboard on the front. It's meant to fade away. I mean, it does, like I said, it does stand out to some degree, but it just needs to fade away. And they were trying to make it scream like it's something that it's not. Yeah. So here's what I said. Um, the proportions on this house don't seem wide enough to accommodate both end chimneys. Plus the louvered vents and centered window. So here's the real problem. Um, so, I mean, here's a chimney and here's a vent right below it and a window right yeah. below it. So plus the louvered vents and centered window on the west would contradict having a chimney stack in that location. A more squarish, slightly off-centered uh, chimney like most of the neighbors, would be more appropriate. Single shutters on mullioned windows are not appropriate. The second floor windows might be okay with shutters, but they should be louvered, not paneled. And clappers on this setback building feels a little too formal, but if allowed, they should be painted a softer color, such as gray. They're applying for white clappers. Yeah, they want to go for the black and white look. Black and white. Black shutters, white. Yeah. Yeah, and are both houses on either side of it, at least the one that's further towards um Cato Circle is is white. Yep. I know it's starting to feel like a lot of white. Yeah. I don't remember what the other one is. Nope, that one's got oh that's gray with the other. This is white and then, and then these are just shingled. Is it shingled or gray? Um shingled. Is it shingled? Okay. This might be Yellow. Uh, yellow and <clears throat> beige. That's for sale. But all the chimneys are, you know, somewhat central. Granted, they're different style houses. Um, but still, it, it really doesn't work. Where are we? Sorry, I'm jumping around. Here. I don't think it works. It's two end chimneys. It's way too much. Um, do you want to add anything to that? No, I don't know how mold windows ended up on the front on the main street anyway. Yeah, this was probably done 70s. I don't know. I have no idea. 50s? I don't know. Date would be nice. They want to throw that in. Yeah, what's the date? There is no no date. Yeah. And we, we don't know what those big square planters or whatever they are underneath the mold windows. Right. Planters as drawn are not appropriate. They're not even identified, are they? No. New wood clappered planters. 
What does it say? No, it says painted. Painted. Yikes. No, new wood clabbers painted for yeah. exposure. <laughs> The fine print. Yeah. No, I don't think it's unreasonable for them to want to kind of dress this up a little bit, but I think they're doing a little bit too much. Gilding the lily. Okay. And it, uh, so now we have the cottage, which is way in the back. This is a hard one to even figure out where it is. Because the site plan doesn't help us very much. So they're really not changing the building at all. They're just adding <clears throat> this um, pergola attached garage piece. Seems fairly innocuous. It's pretty far back between buildings. I think they're not sure if you actually see this from Quaker Lane, but it's closer to Quaker, I think, than anywhere else. Let me, let me pull back. So here's the main house. I think this might be the girl, the building we're talking about. How do you, how do you get back there? Right, because it seems like they need to be aligning somewhat in order to make this pergola work or the arbor. Well, since we don't have a site plan, um, try this. I don't even see a driveway going back here. Hmm. So is there access maybe from here? Hmm. That's still, that's possible actually. Oh, so maybe this, yeah, this is it. And then this is an access. They're just gonna go. So the, the shed, the garage shed would be on this side. That makes sense. You can see to some degree down that road, I, that that driveway, it's a couple of different houses, I think, that get accessed by it. I didn't realize that that one did, too. Yeah, I've been down there for different projects, but um, it's pretty tucked back. I didn't really have any problems with this one. Does anybody care about this? Um, the pergola is all going to be painted white. So, I think it should know. be napkin. Is it to their, are they saying that? Um, Wait, it's new wood pergola painted. Painted white. white. Yeah. Okay. No. Good. Whereas the pergola over the shower <laughs> left to wet natural the weather. New wood columns painted white for the nope, that's pergola. Okay. Um Is that screen? Whatever it is they're showing it is existing, but I bet it is. Hmm. Huh. No, it says new wood trellis screen between pergola posts. Oh, that. So where's that, Lucy? Um. Do they just mean the trellis that's on the other side of the building? To the front of the guest house. See, this is not showing the screening on this side. Mm -mm. And here. Yeah, right there, showing right screen. there. New wood trellis <laughs> screen between pergola posts. New wood, Where, where's that common? Well, It's on mine. <laughs> Is it on the north elevation? Yes. I still don't see it. It's bubbled on mine. Oops. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong. Sure, it's not just referring to the trellis that's stuck on that building. 
yeah. all over the shingle. Right. So this says, it. oh yeah, this is not. Well, do we care? Because this, the, if it is that that section and the door, all right. Let's let's see if we can figure this out. This faces west, so that is facing toward this driveway. Oh no, that's facing the other way. That's west. It's on this side of the building. Mm -hmm. This is the west elevation showing the face of the garage. I wonder if they have that right, because how are they going to access that? Exactly. Yeah, how would they? Unless they want, they're going to extend the drive. It looks like it goes slightly. And there may be a driveway from Main Street, is there? I don't think that there is. No. I don't think there's any break. It's got a hedge running across the front with a. And they're showing an existing palace, you know, our little pergola, but I don't see it. But you uh, see how the shell, the shell driveway kind of extends to the west end of that building. Yeah, it does. So it might just be disappearing underneath the trees. Oh, see, look. Is that it? Well, you know, this. Okay, so here's a door, just a gable end with a door. Um, the driveway is like elevated, it's... I suspect that's the west elevation mm -hmm. that we were just looking at. Mm -hmm. So what's the east elevation? Wait a minute, west. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Do we have an east? It's a loop. <laughs> I'm confused already. Um, you know, I'm going to go back to the first elevation. Yeah, this is the application for the main house, but they had shown. So here's the east elevation that we're missing on the other application. And this looks all like it's all new. So this is. So they're adding a pergola on either side. Yeah, they're putting pergolas on both sides. And the screening, new wood trellis screen between pergola posts. So it's it's wood, it's not screen, it's, it's a wood. It's no, lattice? It's lattice. I'm okay with the lattice. Um, lattice. Are we, I know if you have to, um, you can't see us from the street, but it, based on those photos, are they asking for a hard, the, do, is there any kind of hardscape plan? Because this is truly a garage. You're going to have a long way down to get into the garage from where the driveway is, if it's still set up. Yes. Um, so we should, you're right, we should ask for a landscape, hardscape plan. Thank you, hardscape. Whatever. Humidity is sucking my brain cells. And a better site plan for starters. So yeah. Confused. Okay. Um, so and putting that elevation on the application because it's not there. Yeah. It's you know they they seem to have literally only submitted one application because when because on this application they're talking about two different buildings. So I think they need to be separated, obviously. Yeah, that's how I was getting confused. Yes. Separate applications. Yep. Um, all right. Yeah. Any other concerns about the guest house? No. All right. Next, we have 42 Easton. Shutters. So I think it's really just on the north elevation facing the street. Um, I don't mind the shutters. I didn't even mind the, the blue, no. although Lucy's, I'm gonna, so well, first let's talk about the, um, 
the shape of the shutters because I think they all work except for down here. The, the They're being a little creative and showing double wide shutters, which I'm not sure I've ever seen before. Um, so I just said the double wide shutters on the north are a concern. We typically don't approve shutters on mullion windows. I don't now, think the shutters are appropriate. There's just so many windows on this building already. And it's such a confusing looking building because of its previous life. I just think it's too much, but yeah. that's just me. Yeah. And if it's blue, it's even worse. I mean, right now those um, garages, whatever on either side of the building to the right and left of the driveway are covered with um, either climbing hydrangea or something so that they're less prominent. Adding those shutters is going to be. Um, yeah, they're going to go away. Yeah. And it just, yeah, I just think it's too much. I mean, even if they did, well, how about just the shutters on the main mast? I'm just one voice. I just don't, I just think it's such a busy structure that, that those are adding more busyness to them. I don't know. I, you know, normally I like shutters. I think they add a nice um, sort of element to most buildings. I can I sort of see what you're saying, Jason. It's it's a little busy, especially the color is going to make them really stand out. Um, I agree with with you, Mickey. That there's so much monotony and all the glass and all the white that maybe blue is not the best color, but it sort of breaks it up a little bit. And I I don't know what you do about those outside windows. I mean. Um, the mold windows for the shutter. It's a, it is kind of a creative idea to go with the, the double wide, but you know, <laughs> if they really wanted to drive this, <laughs> um, it would be great to get rid of the mold window, separate them enough that you could have shutters, but. It'd be nice to get rid of the parking lot too. <laughs> I, you know, even up here, these are third floor windows. I think they they're definitely improved by the shutters. They're, yeah. they're really there. I think it helps in as much as that it breaks up the space where there's humongous space of people, where there's the windows are too small or whatever for the for mm -hmm. the shingled wall. But I just like I said, I'm one voice, so that was I, just my my reaction. My my thinking is that the and, and you know we can talk more about this, but I, I'm I'm good with the shutters on the main house. I could maybe say opt out of this, uh, these, but the color is another question. Um, this is E fourteen forty seven and Lucy. I'm going to come out for a sec. Lucy sent a picture of that color swap. Um, It's the lower one right above my hand. Yep. So that's, and that's this is color. fine paints, Lucy, right? Yes. Okay. They're trying to mimic that blue on um, up at Lincoln Circle. Yeah. I, I, don't mind, I don't mind blue. I just think it's that particular selection is maybe too bright. It is too bright. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but. I'm having my shutters in quays, hopefully repainted this week. And this is the old traditional blue from. Let me, um, let me stop sharing for a second. Okay. Yeah, that's more so. This, this is the blue that uh, the little houses with blue shutters, which is what I have. Um, and I don't know if you can see the difference. Yeah. This is what they're proposing. Okay, so yours is just darker. 
Yeah, it's a lot darker. This this is the a little bit of uh, Florida. Ye old Cape Cod. Yeah, this is ye old Cape Cod, Nantucket, Quakes. Well, that one. Yeah, the one in your right hand is yeah, it's it's subdued and it's there isn't a real like get you into the clam shack thing. Yeah, but it's usually, I mean, from Mike's recollection, it's usually on, you know, one floor buildings pretty much, not three floors. Mm -hmm. mm. That's I my that's my other issue. It's just gonna be all it's just gonna be because that's it's just you want the building to kind of fade away based on and it's size. Yeah. So I said the double white shutters on the north are a concern. We typically don't approve shutters on mullion windows. So I can leave that just at that. And I and how about just adding the comment that the color blue that's chosen is too bright. It should be a darker, um, darker blue, um, deeper blue. Isn't it Hamilton blue? You know, I, I, how does this relate to Hamilton blue? Is it where? Well, you know, I tried taking a photograph at Marine Home with that, and it 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 just it didn't show up. Oh, hold on, let me look at my files. Hamilton blue is more of a blue gray rather than a yeah. mm -hmm. you know like a bright blue. So maybe we just say that. Maybe you just say more of a Hamilton blue. Closer. I think mute, muted is what we're looking for instead of brilliant. Or bright. Okay. Here's Hamilton blue here. Mm -hmm. This is Easton blue. And this is Dylan blue. So the one on your right, our left, but your right is the one they're proposing? Yes. Okay, lift it up a little higher. Yeah. Wow, Hamilton blue is almost gray by comparison. Yeah. And this is the, this is old timey blue. Yeah. Why don't we just say that? Why don't we just say closer to Hamilton blue? It's too bright. We want it closer to Hamilton. Yeah. Good. Great. Okay. And I would um, those two side L's. I mean, I would prefer not to see shutters on those at all. I mean, they're garages, basically, and to their garages along the street, and to highlight them when they have shrubbery growing on them now, which may some fade away. The shrubbery is a lot more pr prominent than what your um, street view showed. Is it? Yeah. No. It's grown. Yeah. I'm I'm okay with it. I can say let's skip the garages, keep it on the main house. And go with closer to Hamilton Blue. I'm okay with that. Good. Wunderbar. All right. Well, do, Mickey, do you want to add that the proposed color is um, too bright, and that the sample that shows up on in the the scan for the application is um, not accurate? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Good. Okay, that's it on the agenda. Um, any other comments? Well, I mean, I don't know if the, my only comment is getting back to this color thing is, is are applicants submitting a scan of a color chip and that scan is being relayed onto us I mean, it's, or are they submitting an actual paint chip that can be looked at at the HDC meeting? Because if we're getting basically color information at second or third hand, mm -hmm. it, I mean, it, it, this application is. Yeah. So let's ask Di Diane, um, can you answer that to some degree? Do you know if the, are you receiving actual color chips? Or Very rare. <laughs> On demand, we can. We would look at it. We all know there are certain prescribed colors that we we have, Hamilton Blue being one of them. Yeah. And actually, it's the only existing approved color in blue at the moment. Usually, we have to look at a picture just like you do. 
if it is in question, we will ask for them to bring a color, but that takes another meeting. Mm -hmm. So as a usual thing, they don't bring an actual chip. Well, I think it's important in this case because blue and the chips and the scanning, it's all over the map. It's, it's, not, it's not really relating, so. Well, I think people should be encouraged to bring a chip if they want to get through the whole process faster, bring all the information you can. Right, it should be required. A scan is just not going to give you the accurate. No, no. no. Scanner is only color that, that goes with your computer. And yeah. <laughs> it no, all very... depends on what it is. Yeah. Okay, they should request actual chips. All right, anything else? No. Nope. Good for today? Motion to approve to, uh, oh, to accept the minute to the notes? Yeah. Yes, yes, and yes. Seconded by Angus. All those in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Lucy and Angus. Yes. Second. Thank you. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Mickey. Bye. Thank Bye, Diane. Bye, Diane.